Chester Moore, editor-in-chief of Texas Fishing Game at Mount Houston Marine. And, you know, at this point, we're in the latter part of February, and it's been a, quite a while since uh, Hurricane Harvey rolled through, but um, we're still hearing stories of heroics and really cool things that came out of that situation. And um, I'm here with Mark, Mark and Danny, and um, they have quite an interesting story to tell. Mark here decided he's going to help rescue some folks in his blue wave, and um, he found out that it wasn't just water, but there was a lot of current. Yeah, the, the current over there in Kingwood was just really bad. It would just take you, when you'd go past the building, uh, it would just take you and slam you into poles. And so I smashed both sides of my Blue Wave and Blue Wave and, and uh, Danny at uh, Northwest uh, Fiberglass really helped us out and fixed it back up. Now, what did you think when he called? I mean, uh, I know you guys are a family own operation you guys have uh like to have great customer service what do you think we're, we're going to help this guy out for sure because he's out risking his life helping other people exactly and then he had had some previous bad luck with the boat and uh so i just didn't want to see him have to go through that again and he's just a, a great man and a great customer of ours and i thought i would reach out to blue wave and to danny uh and see if we couldn't get this taken care of for him without him having to involve his insurance or any out of pocket for him and Everybody just stepped up to the plate, took care of it, and everything worked out like it should in situations like this. How bad was it, Danny? It was pretty bad. It was broken on both sides where it had uh, had gotten up against a light pole and up against a tree. Pulled the rubber loose, pulled the deck and haul apart. Uh, it's nothing we can't fix. You know, the interesting thing about this is you hear a lot of, like, after effects. Or this is something coming out many months later, but it just shows, like, people working together in the community even in the business community here, to do something. Now, when you bought your Blue Wave, I know you weren't thinking we'd be driving around Kingwood in it, right? Right. But um, you weren't just out fishing. You're kind of, you're a pastor. You're kind of fishing for men out there, yeah, literally at yeah. this point. I felt like my flock was on the other side of the river there, <laughs> yeah. and uh, we had to get to them, you know. And so grabbed a, you know, a fellow, fellow church member, and mm -hmm. uh, we put our waders on and, and went after them. And they were, like I said, they were plucking them off the roof with uh, – the Coast Guard uh, helicopters on this apartment complex, and we got in there, and the next thing you know, there was a bunch of small boats following us uh, with the Cajun Navy showed up, and, and we just kind of got, got it rolling, uh, getting some folks out of some apartments. But, yeah, the, uh, the police were in there, uh, and it was, uh, the current was just turning everybody over. It was crazy. Yeah, it was a really interesting scenario. I was in Orange, and we had the same thing happen just about a day and a half later when everything kind of went down. But we're glad we're all still here. And uh, I bet you would love to hear from Mark, but probably not wrecking his boat again, right? Pretty much. You know, it's nice <laughs> to just get a picture of him one time or bring by a fish and go, look at this I caught. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks. What a great story. People working together. Check out Mount Houston Marine, obviously taking care of their customers.